Hi, Jeff from Hybrid Automotive. I want to show you today how to connect your module voltage monitoring harness correctly to a hybrid battery for the Prolong Pro Thunderbolt system. So you're gonna need two harnesses, the Prolong car harness and the module voltage monitoring harness. This one's a prototype, so it's pretty messy, but the connections are all the same. So the actual charging and discharging will be done using the Prolong car harness. If you're doing a battery that has the OEM battery fan pumping into the bottom of the battery, you can do it right on the battery chassis. So this is a Prius C or an Aqua battery, and we can actually run the process right here. If you're doing a Gen 2 Prius or a Camry battery that pumps the air into the top, then um, that's not possible, and that's why we have the battery cooling table so that you can get the air in through the bottom. So the first thing you're going to do is connect your Prolong car harness. The positive, the red positive wire is going to go to the top of the battery, the positive uh, module there. And your black wire is going to connect to the very bottom of the battery. And that, in this case, it's this one that's, that's a negative. It's a little hard to see here. This Prius C has a second wire that comes across. And so we're making the connection here, taking advantage of that. So module number one is always where the ground comes in. So this down here is module number one, because that's where our black ground wire from the Prolong car harness is coming into the battery. So, so for the module voltage monitoring, we now have our charge harness ground here. In order to monitor the voltage of this first module, we're going to have number one, which you can see there, here on the positive side, of this very first module. So the way that we monitor this voltage is we use that black ground wire from the car harness and we use the positive side, we use number one. Then for module number two, we've got the bus bar here. So that also, this is the ground for number two. And then here you can see we have number two over here on this connection. And then for number three, we're gonna install number three right here, as you can see. And so for each module, the wire is used twice. So number one is the positive for module number one. It's also the ground for module number two. So we build up. So one, and then three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13. So all your odds will end up on one side and all your evens are gonna be down here. You're gonna have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, all the way up through the battery. So the only place on the battery where we're gonna have two wires connected is gonna be at the very top of the battery. So the, the last module in this case is module number 20. This is a copper bus bar. So this charge positive and the last module are connected to the same place. You can see there in this case, it's number 20. If it was a Prius battery, a regular Gen 2 or Gen 3 Prius, it would be 28 would have two connections. So that is how you want to make the connections to a hybrid battery to do the charging and discharging, run the fan if possible to ventilate it from underneath, and then also make the individual module connections.